I wish I could show people what it's like to live in this brain. But it's not it's not like this all the time. But like the like you see the, the bullhorns over there, they're everything is dangerous. Everyone is out to get you. Everything can hurt you. Cars, buildings, fucking flowers. It's just part of the deal, man. I was saying to myself, why is this happening to me? Why couldn't I be normal? The last thought before I went over was, jump now. You know, I have auditory hallucinations, and they were just screaming. They were screaming in my head, you must die. You must die now. Jump now. And I did. I was compelled to die. In four seconds, I fell 75 miles an hour, 25 stories, and I hit the water. Nobody thinks about the ones that have to go pick it up. 57 dead bodies had to pick up. People, you were the only one alive. I heard you coming through the door. You were on the gurney, and you were vocal, and you were basically saying, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. 22 American military veterans and active duty servicemen and women are dying by suicide every day. Never forget that they were our heroes, too. I was very nearly a statistic, and the facts are that Aboriginal men are six times more likely to die by suicide. For every one death by suicide, at the very least, 115 people are directly affected. We lost our son, Matthew. He was 20 years old. I wondered if I did something wrong. In 2008, my brother passed away by suicide. He was only 19 years of age. If he had have realised what that ripple effect what had happened, he never would have done it. How does any parent live with that grief? He will always be the son I lost. When a family endures a suicide, they need help. And uh, in your case, you survived. And I, I really went through hell. When I got the call, and since then, I played myself for 15 years now. You were the first person and a consistent person to ever say, you know, Kevin, you should talk about this. You've stood up and told your story. The dry eye in the whole place. I have now lived 15 years past the day I should have died. And I'm truly grateful for that second chance at life.